preliminary tornado report zooming in. Bria Berry mentioned the National Weather Service is saying so far at least EF2 rating on the enhanced Fujita scale, at least an EF2 rating for the Norman tornado. And they're going to continue to survey damage. It could change. So this is a preliminary rating. And also they're going to go out and rate the Shawnee tornado where let's take it out right now to McIntyre Law Chopper 4. We have Chopper Pilot Mason Dunn, who is over Shawnee. And you've been out since early this morning. Uh, how would you compare the damage that you've seen in Norman and Goldsby to Shawnee? And h how long is the damage path? Well, the damage is very similar. You can see the entire roof taken off this house. If we go across the street, you're going to see a 2 by 4 from that house probably embedded in the house across the street right above the garage there as Steve is zooming in. The damage path, this storm, this tornado hopped and skipped around for about 30 miles, made it all the way up here to Shawnee, just north about five miles. This is the Snyder Heights edition. This is about Highway 18, uh, about five miles north of Shawnee. And you can see the path where it goes through this edition. These houses are on a lot more land than they were in Norman, so not as much damage here, but the damage is severe. As you can see, it crosses the uh, road over here. And uh, you can see houses are, are lots of damage out here. Hopefully nobody got hurt. We flew on up about five miles northeast of here. I believe the tornado lifted after it went through here again. And uh, if it came down, it was at least five, 10 miles on, on north. Uh, further to the northeast so like I said this uh, this storm tornado was on the gr up and down on the ground for about 30 miles it's 30 miles from here to Norman uh, where we were earlier so that's a long path uh, a lot of it was just uh, open land but unfortunately you can see when it comes through in addition what it'll do to the houses so we'll stay on top of it Mason Dunn reporting from McIntyre Law Chopper 4 back to you Wow, excellent report from Mason Dunn and absolutely heartbreaking to see all of this damage and he is talking about how it it skipped or hopped. So this type of tornado, first of all, very strong given remember most of the day we were in the 60s and cloudy. So not typical severe weather setup that you would think of. We didn't have as much storm fuel, but boy, did we have that low level shear. And so it didn't take much to get this spin going up within the line when it had that forward momentum. So in addition to the tornado damage, you also had wind gusts around 80 miles per hour or greater. So damaging wind gusts as well. But this is classic tornado damage where it is a little bit more hit or miss. You have these circulations that drop a tornado relax, recirculate, get its act together, and drop another tornado again. And so, oh, feeling for all the folks, especially this is February 1. We really, I mean, we can have tornadoes any time of year in Oklahoma, but one, to have it in February, but two, to have a nighttime tornado. That's always scary. And thankfully, there was advanced warning on this storm, not a ton before the Norman storm, but we still had that line out west. So uh, Oklahomans are very good at being weather aware, and thankfully, the the injuries were not higher given the damage that you're seeing here with nighttime tornadoes. All right, let's go ahead and check out our current weather situation. We've calmed down, thank goodness. Temperatures in the low 60s north, 67 for OKC. Winds relaxing quite a bit at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. This afternoon, sunny skies, gradually decreasing winds in the low 70s. We have another storm system around the corner, Kent, and this one could bring snow to the state. I'll have more coming up. Emily, thank you. Well, you saw the scene there from the air in Shawnee and now News Force Nick Campers there on the ground and Nick, the damage is just incredible. Walk us through what you're seeing there. Yeah, it is incredible, Kent. I'm going to move out of the way so you can see this house behind me. It has lost pretty much everything. The roof is completely gone. The homeowners tell me that the foundation of the house is actually shifted because of the wind. Uh, and those homeowners, they didn't want to go on camera, but they did tell me uh, that they didn't have a whole lot of time to react to this. They never made it to the storm shelter, but they're actually relatively okay. They have some scrapes. They have some cuts. Uh, they got their family out here making sure that they're okay. And there are crews, uh, as you can see, they're really 
really picking it up. They've been out here since early this morning. We're moving across the street, showing you the path of the storm. There's this house across the street that has lost uh, a lot of their roof. There's significant damage. Again, there is just debris covering this entire neighborhood. And you had kids, you had uh, all sorts of family members uh, for these homes coming out here and, and making their rounds and cleaning up and doing the best they can. Uh, we've spoken to several people that are not aware of any injuries thus far, just minor scrapes and things like that. Uh, but we are hearing that they did not hear or off and on they heard the, the alarm. And so they weren't getting into their storm shelters right away because they didn't think that it was coming in this direction. Uh, but again, like I said, a lot of folks say that they're very lucky to be okay. Damage is severe, and this is going to be a cleanup job for the next several days. We're going to keep you uh, updated this afternoon. We'll be out here all afternoon reporting live in Shawnee. Nick Camper, Oklahoma's News 4.